So, today we're going to discuss a misfire. This particular vehicle is a uh, Honda Odyssey, from 1998 or so. And uh, this, uh, what we see here on the screen, is a baseline. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, the vehicle has a few problems, but that's not the misfire we're looking for. So, if we just uh, go through this whole file, we'll see that the average KV running would be well, around about 9 KV, which is the right right. Drag it across. We'll check it out number one here. One, three, four, two. Yeah. So number four looks a little lean, but that's not what we're looking for. I'm going to create the uh, misfire right now. So here we are, back on the vehicle with the misfire, misfire cylinder. And I think we can almost uh, jump in and say, number one is the problem. The KV spike has come all the way down. If we go across here, it is always there. So one, three, four, two, one, it repeats itself all the time. And that's the misfire. So what is that misfire? What do we think it is? Definitely cylinder one. All of that always air to idle. Maybe we should look at um, on the brake tool. So here we are. We've got a file here of um, five seconds on the screen. We've uh, idled the vehicle up to this point, put it into gear, put on the brake, accelerate to around about 1500 RPM. Let's just check that out to see what uh, RPM we were doing. Click on zoom, and then a couple of cursors, put a cylinder one, this companion cylinder here. With around about 847 RPM. As we go across, get into the brake torque, slot that in there so we can drag these both over, and we lock it into one again, unlock, bring it back to here, approximately 1775 RPM. I like around about 1500, 1700 is just fine. If we zoom in, you see the KV is still down. KV didn't go up. Everybody else did. We zoom in on this one. Kind of strange, eh? We've got a bit of a straight line here. And it levels off, and we've got a bit of turbulence. The measurements. One point four milliseconds of burn time. Burn time's good. No KV. What a heck of a misfire. What next? Well next for me would be to zoom in on that bad cylinder. So if we zoomed in, we're going to do a rapid trigger. We're going to set the scope up at one millisecond with a uh, sample rate of 30 KS. And that's going to give us 256 frames. We're going to trigger off B, which is the sink that will hold it on cylinder number one. That's the cylinder that we want. And we're going to obviously uh, start the vehicle up and tape. And this is what we actually got. So if we run through here like this, we can see all 256 frames. But we can make a uh, an animated gift of this, and this is how we do it. After we've saved 
the 256 frames. We would go to File, Save All Current Wave As, and if we drop down this little box here, we move this up so we're in the movie. We're going to see animated gift. Click on animated gift and press save and it will give us a file, an animated gift file. Right there. Okay, so this animated gift that we made will be right here. We're going to double click it, bring it up. Now we're going to watch it. Let's see what's going on here. Halfway across, at one millisecond, seems to be a dead straight line to me. We have an upward curve, and as we watch that other section there, there appears to be turbulence in there, more so than the first part. There's still turbulence in the first part, but it does appear to be in two separate sections for some reason. Why is that, I wonder? See now and again, you get all that really hairiness there. And even on the sink, the sink actually shows KV up to here and then another KV up to here. And burn time, I'm sorry. Burn time up to here and burn time over here. So now we have to determine what's going on with that. So on removal of the spot plug, what we see is a kind of normal looking plug, a little bit worn maybe. Maybe I can just bring it over here and see better. Got a, a gap, a little bit worn maybe, nothing too much. Now Lucky for me, when I took it out, it doesn't come out in this uh, way up, right? It comes out in this way up. And we look at it and turn it a bit. Oh, the central electrode has dropped to close up the gap. Turn it upside down again. No magic here at all. Oop, there is it. A little bit difficult to get into the camera, but I do believe there's the gap. And this way, I'll keep it in focus for you so you can see it. Come on, get it up. Close up the gap. Okay, so we've uh, installed a new spark plug. And we've uh, made another uh, zoom in uh, capture uh, to make a rapid trigger um, file. And uh, we've brought down a couple of cursors here for the average KV, which was going to be around about 9.7 KV now. We could put some burn time in here as well. Put the cursors. We're running around about 1.7 kV in this particular frame. Let's just go through a couple. So our average is going to be a little bit back here. 1.4. Perfect. So our burn time now is a nice, basically straight line with a little curve in it, curving up to. Uh, running out of fuel area in this, this part here. We made an animated GIF of this, obviously remember, save all as, drop down this box here, animated GIF, save, blah, blah. Let's uh, go and have a look to see what I saved it. Oops. It was there, open her up. I'm running away there. Now we don't really have that choppiness in the sink. 
nice curve burn time nice around about 1.4 milliseconds we said nice kb going up to 8 and 9 kb up here job fix Okay, so we're going to uh, do a comparison of good and bad, and we're going to make a reference waveform of uh, the good one here. So we're going to go tools, reference waveform, channel select channel C, duplicate it, rename it. And uh, good spot plug good say okay and open up the bad rapid trigger it was it's down. Again, the reference waveform. On the good spot plug. On the screen there somewhere. Get red up. I don't need to trigger so much. But it's only a bit there. Get out of the way. Move up. That. Right. Bring down some cursors here. So we can go minus to zero, fastest way to hit zero would be to hit this, hit zero, enter, and then the other A B. Good one. Zero. Five kb up here somewhere. Nine kb. So we can see that we've definitely got a higher kb now because the uh, spark is jumping across the gap in the combustion chamber. The um, the old spark plug. We know had a really low kb. Most of the time, an average around about three to four or whatever. And then the new burn time, we got a nice, nice line curving upward slightly. There's a bit of turbulence in there, obviously, and on the combustion chamber. Um, Time-wise, a burn time. So it's 1.7 here, and we know it was around about 1.4. Well, let's just move through the bad spot plug. We always saw this line here from here to here, and then a step, some sort of step upwards. And uh, what this is, this part of the uh, burn time here, is the, the big gap inside the insulator. There's, no, there's not much turbulence in there because it, there's no compression as such in there. It's just jumping this arced gap. Then from here, from this point to the end of the burn time, is basically the, the turbulence is lifting that needle up and down. And the spark is juggling around. It's pushing it up and down. And that's just the turbulence that we see there. That's very small amount of burn time is actually in the spot in, inside the combustion chamber. And there we have it. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. Always remember that Auto Nerds is the place to buy your Pico and where you learn how to work the Pico.
and uh, become uh, proficient uh, on this uh, subject of uh, using the people to do your job every day. Thank you. Good night.